Okie dokie, well, good evening everybody, and uh, this time around, I thought I would go ahead and do like a gameplay demo of a new game that I got yesterday. I actually talked about this in uh, yesterday's cast video. Um, it's called Stacklands. Uh, it's, it's kind of, it's like a, a card-based survival game. It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, I'll go more in depth once I actually start playing it. But, um, yeah. Um, and uh, also, I am going to have, like usual... I am going to have some music running in the background, and this time around, um, Chasse a la Mort, uh, Lord Rashnak, and this is a type of genre called dungeon rap, uh, as is probably obvious, it's a combination of rap and dungeon synth, so, and, uh, please believe me when I say that I'm not a huge fan of rap music, um, the only kind I really care for is, like, the old school 80s rap, and, um, and, and dungeon rap, but even then, I don't like um uh, I don't like everything out there. So I mean I've I think I've subscribed to like one or two dungeon rap channels, and a lot of the videos they put out I don't care to listen to. So, but there's an occasional diamond in the rough there though. So, but um I guess uh, on the upside, for the most part, uh dungeon rap is copyright free. So it's, it's free to use. I mean, there's there's a few in there that are copyrighted, but like I said, most of it isn't. So that's another big draw to Dungeon Rap. So, but like I said, I'm, 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 this is just what I'm in the mood for. I'm not playing this to piss people off or anything. I mean, probably like a lot of you guys, I'm no fan of the pimping, thogging, mumbling, and, and trapping rap, that kind of stuff, like the kind you hear. Like, Takashi69, I think his name is, that kind of rap. I am no fan of that stuff. So, and I'll probably hear, and I'll probably hear the, for lack, the clean, for lack of a better word, rap at work every day at Walmart. So they, they, they do their fair share of rap music in there. But like I said, it's like the clean, inoffensive stuff. So, yeah, so, but like I said, uh, dungeon rap. Old school 80s rap are pretty much the only kind of rap I get in or I care for. So, so let me go ahead and fire that up. Or here, let me rewind it to the start. So, alrighty. Um, Okay, so this is uh, this is day length here, moon length. Um, kind of against my better judgment, my uh, my soul, for lack of a better word, is gonna kind of take a hit. But because of this, uh, I'm gonna set it to long. But I kind of want to show how this works. So you start out with a. Uh, with a card like this. And so here's a little bit of Minecraft. What you gotta do is villagers, you use them to get stuff. So you put one on another. And then this here, the flashing number, 0 and 2. I need to have two food by the end of the day, otherwise a villager dies. And this is some this is something else I like about this game. I just found out about it. It's both controller and mouse friendly. So So we'll go ahead and have and you do the same thing. You put them on a rock and it'll get you uh it'll get you stone. Um you put them on wood and it'll get you a stick. Oh, and you get some flint, too. And is it just me, or is a storm brewing? So you... And you do the same thing here. You put them on wood, and out comes a stick. And then I think... Oh, and a... Uh, you zoom in, you zoom out, 
Um, okay, so you could also use the D-pad. Yeah, so you can use the D-pad to switch between cards. Okay, here's, um... Actually click on him. Okay, so you have to actually hover over. Him. But if you could if you could see at the very, very lower left corner, yeah, you should be able to. And uh, I need to check something else too. Okay, so you should be able to see my cursor. So yeah, you can look over here. Like one wood, one villager, that gets you a stick. Uh, one coin and two wood. Growth, and then you gotta... This is what makes your food. One berry and one soil, but I ain't got any soil, so... Three wood, one stone, one villager. But right now, the goal is, uh... I actually have to sell some of these. I have to get coins. And then I take these coins and put them up in uh, one of these. And I get another stack lens. lower left corner time to eat gotta feed the villagers and like I said each villager requires two food so and if you if all of your villagers die from starvation it's game over oh that's a nice feature pauses whenever you pick up some. So, we'll grab that guy, put him over there. So, that should last me a couple days. Um, so, let's put him on tree. So there's a little bit of Minecraft in this game as well. You're like, you're punching trees now. So I got two wood. Same thing here. to actually hover over this um one soil two stone oh got an apple out of it apples are worth two food so i only need one of these to feed a villager um okay lumber camp Let's make a lumber camp. Looks like this is gonna take a while. Yeah, it's gonna take about 30 seconds. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Some requests. Build 
the house, create offspring. Yeah, we got a storm coming in. So we got a lumber camp. Um, so we just, presumably you just put them on there. And that's suppo that supposed to get you infinite wood. And there's a card camp. Three stone, one wood. One soil, two stone, two wood. But uh, I gotta get up. all three loads in there and then grab the coins all right, I'm gonna have to do this manually same thing there so there's two of them gone let's start a new one Grab all, grab all four of these, and I'm gonna put them in seeking wisdom this time. I think you get better resources. Two wood, one stone. So let's do this. seconds again chicken and I think you can sell these once um once you unlock these ideas they're yours permanently so free gold then let's go ahead and uh, sell plants uh, since I don't think I'll be needing any anytime soon So, so we got a berry bush. Campfire stick and flint. So you are definitely gonna need up. Uh, you're gonna need the flints now. right there. Some point later on, yeah, I'm gonna need to get it, make a spear as well. One wooden, two stick. I'm gonna take another drink here. So, one wooden, two stick.
Stone, so one wood, one villager. Um, am I reading that right? Three stone, okay. That stone wasn't right there. So it's two stone. It says a nice place to live. I don't know exactly what it does for you. So let's go ahead and sell off the wood. bush. I'm gonna get some more food out of that. But like I said, like I said earlier, every day, villagers require two food to live. So, if you run out of food and your villagers die, then it's game over. And, in case anyone's curious, yes, can have more than one villager. Alright, so... Oops, keep going on rock. So I believe it's three stone and one wood. That's what gets you the quarry. That'll be an unlimited source of stone right there. seconds, yep. Uh, like I said, I don't like all dungeon rap. One of the reasons I like dungeon rap is because uh, the, the vocals, for the most part, are muffled. So we need to make Jow time. So now, one wood and two stick. So, still need a soil. All right, so campfire, one stick, one flint, don't have it. Is it the chicken or the egg? One wood and two stick, I don't have that. So. some of these you can get off you can get sticks out of this too but still need a soil though and then the 
the way garden works is um you put uh whatever food like uh i think berry or apple on it and it'll it'll just grow that automatically so i'll put all these in reaper so Sticks out of that one. And uh, at some point in the future, yeah, we are going to have to have flint. Um, we're also going to need to be able to make a spear as well. But I need one more stick for that. Chicken buddy, your way out. I have to put you over there. Definitely something I don't want. Oh, got an egg. Um, what was it? One chicken, one egg. Come here, chicken. to keep the chicken from hopping all over the place too. And we don't have enough cards. Uh, one wood, one stone, one stick. So, so we're going to have to do this. This is kind of an all hands on deck thing here. I can get another stick out of that. Oh, need sticks. got two chickens. So. Got soil. Uh, so now we can make a garden. So let me, let me go over here. Soil, stone, and wood. Yeah, 
got? 30 seconds. On you go, chicks. Nope, oh, get back. And I'm also guessing because I'm over my card limit. So, coins don't count as cards? Kind of interesting. Um, and I don't want to kill the chickens. Although I might end up having to. Oh, and you can't sell them. So... don't count as cards. So... There is a garden. Now, again, I believe with a garden, any kind of produce... Yep. So, that's 90 seconds. Let me put a halt on that. Let me see, uh... Let me see if it's faster with an apple. Nope. So, 90 seconds each. want to start working on sheds but we still got to make a spear yet Sticks. Four. So that should get me on ten right there. Kind of wish you could expand your territory. Eventually, I'll be able to make a chicken coop. 
One stick, one flint. I, I got the plant, but again, I'm having a hell of a time trying to get off. Uh, trying to get sticks. So. I guess for right now, I'll stick them on there. Okay, so we got an apple tree. Yeah, that didn't help much. One house, two villager. Oh. Oh, that one's a boil. Oh, now I got a rabbit. Oh, great. And I don't have shit for space, because you know how fast those rabbits are going to multiply. Look at look at that. I got <laughs> I got 48 cards. stems from the fact that I can't get any damn sticks. Okay, nine. Can't sell them. My God, this is like an inventory management puzzle. chest. I think that's what it's called. Keep the soil. Uh, yeah. Berry bushes. I can just get rid of them. So now I got five cards too many.
unfortunately, I don't want to have to, but... Apple's gonna have to go, curious cousins. chest, one coin and two wood. Luckily, I don't need villagers in order to make them. <laughs> God! Oh, that'll make me a little bit of room. I still got to get a spear going, too. One wood and two stick. Something I can't seem to get. side. gonna come in handy because later on you're gonna see like a it's called a dangerous portal or something like that Bushes. Apparently that counts as a card. And um, uh, I'll tell you what. Since uh, I wasn't expecting to last this long, I was expecting to last maybe a half hour at the most. I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, I do believe you can save your game. And, or maybe not. Let me... If 
find something else I can get rid of. I gotta figure out what to do with three cards. Yeah, you can't sell rabbits or chickens, so. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need the soil. I already have a garden, so. Don't wanna get rid of that. Need the flint for a campfire. Presumably then I can uh, I can uh, cook all these chickens and rabbits I got make some more room And then you 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 need a house to make offspring here. Let me Rich So I'll put these in my coin chest And definitely need to start building more sheds Gotta get rid of one more card. And I'll I'll have to do that and get the offspring later. Okay, so um that's gonna do it for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here. Um like I said, I wasn't expecting to go on this long. I was expecting the last oh I was actually expecting this to be like a like an exercise in futility, only lasting maybe about about four or five turns, and then monsters show up and overrun me. That's what happened the last time. Uh, but I also uh, set it to basically easy mode, so but at least I came away with a little bit more knowledge of this. But anyway, um, this is Stacklands, so and I forgot to mention at the start of this video, but it kind of strikes me as a game like Dwarf Romantic. It's like a a hex based um I don't want to say city building as much as a uh, land building maybe might be the better term so but but yeah um I guess I'll I'll keep on playing this game at some point just kind of glad you can uh you can save your progress and you can use both controller and mouse and keyboard at interchangeably so that's a huge plus kind of a side note it's also why uh it's one of the reasons why uh, I like Gems of War, the RPG game, uh, Match 3. But uh, Love-hate relationship with that game, by the way. But anyway, um, but I'm, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. So, but thanks for uh, watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.